our next guest played one of the TV's most beloved, bewildered, and disheveled detectives of all time. He's a Tony and five-time Emmy award-winning actor. You know him from The In-Laws, The Princess Bride, and of course, as Lieutenant Columbo. This is his new book. It's very funny. It's about his life. It's called Just One More Thing. Please welcome Peter Falk. <laughs> Oh, we have a little talk show confusion, but it happens all the time. Oh, we get the hugs. <laughs> well, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. It's great to see you again. Nice to be here. We had a lot of fun the last time you were here. Well, let's see if we can do it again. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> you told some great stories, and, and uh, I'm very pleased to see that you put them all in the book because, well, maybe you didn't put them all in the book. I don't know, but you put some really good ones in the book. Oh, thanks. Uh, well, I, I wrote a book, and uh, I wrote a book for a person like me. What do I mean by that? I like uh, to get to bed at night, and I like to read for 12 minutes and then fall asleep. Uh -huh. <laughs> so that's, this book is designed for someone like that. Yes, because the chapters are very short. You get right to the point, and there's so many stories that it really eats up a lot of stuff. For instance, it, took, it, it, was, it was a long time before you became an actor. You had a whole thing going on before yeah, that. Yeah, that was, you know, when you, when you write a book, you, you start thinking about things like that. I graduated from high school in 1945, and I didn't become an actor until 1957. So that's 12 years. Wow. What the hell was I doing during those, 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 those 12 years? What the hell it were was, you doing? It was nothing important. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> nothing important. Uh... You were arrested in a lot of countries? That's right. I was arrested in... <laughs> That's right. I what was... countries were you arrested in? I was arrested in Trieste, Yugoslavia. I was arrested in Moscow, Russia. I was arrested in Paris, France. And I was arrested... Oh, this was a good one. In Havana, Cuba. Uh-huh. But in Havana, I'll tell you what happened in Havana. I was, all re... I was an actor, and I was in this period uh, movie and we were shooting in the Everglades in Florida. And I decided I had a day off. I'll go to Havana, I'll take a look around there. But I was wearing my costume from the picture. I actually have a photograph. Keep telling us oh, the story. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I really looked. I had a mop of black hair. I had a, a big beard. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so I was, wandering, <laughs> I was wandering around Havana, Cuba, looking like this. And I only got about three blocks from the hotel, and this car came screeching to a halt. It went over the curb, and I looked, and three guys got out of the car, and they tackled me. They threw me to the ground. They put handcuffs on me. I said, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> and then I'm in the car, and then they pulled up in front of a police station. I was relieved. Because at least they were cops. I didn't know who the, who the guys were. And they started questioning me, but they were talking Spanish. I didn't understand them. And I was answering in English, and they didn't understand me. <laughs> and then they threw me in the car back to the hotel, and they asked the concierge about me. And I asked the, the concierge, I said, what do these guys want from me? What did I do? And he said, they think that you are with Fidel. <laughs> Fidel Castro. At, at that time, I didn't know it, but Fidel Castro was in the hills outside of Havana. And as a matter of fact, two days later, he took Havana with his army. Wow. And most of the, his soldiers looked like they had black beards like me wow. and a black hat like me. So the reason these guys tackled me is they thought I was with Fidel Castro's oh army. It's a good thing you, you took Monday off and not Wednesday. You could have been you would have been dead, but perhaps. <laughs> and that's true. Very good point. Thank you very much. Thank you, very much. <laughs> I was very, I was very impressed by your uh, your drawings last time you were here, and you brought a few more of them. And not only am I impressed by the drawings, but tell us, uh, tell us who. Oh, this is one of your uh, drawings. Who is this young lady? 
Uh, that's uh, Daniela. And do, do these women come model for you? They, they certainly do. Oh, you are. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. And, uh, they're great models. These I girls. can see that. Yeah. <laughs> they and do they dress up like great. this, or you just draw whatever clothes you see fit on no, them? No, uh, Daniela picks out uh, the costume. Wow, that's and great. There she is. That's her again. That's her again. Most of these, I think, are Daniela. I'm not sure. How about this one, Ryan? I'm going to show one here, and um, hopefully they won't blur it out because it is a piece of artwork. Is this Daniela? You know, I'm not certain who that is. <laughs> really? <laughs> you have that many nude models that you, you, you don't know how to, to narrow it down? You don't know who that is? I think I recognize her neck. Uh-huh. <laughs> it looks like you drew a hickey on it, too. Huh? <laughs> and how does that work? You you hire models or... Yes, yes. you go on Craigslist and put a... How does it work? <laughs> no, these models, that's what they do for a living, and they're terrific, you know. They can hold the pose, you know. They have to, uh, for 15 minutes, 20 minutes, they can't move, you know. And that's hard to do, particularly some of those poses. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, the, the drawings are great. I really think they're, they're very impressive. And the book is a lot of fun to read. There's stories about Marlon Brando and Frank Sinatra and all these different people that you worked with over the years. And if you get a chance, pick it up. It's called Peter Falk, Just One More Thing. <laughs> It is in bookstores. It's a good Christmas gift. We'll be right back with music from Bow Wow. Come on back.